Rage Against the Machine, we are in drop D, basically in the key of D minor or some parallel offshoot of that. Let's take a look at what's going on here, guys. We're starting off with the intro D chord, nice wide open drop D, full spectrum D chord. We go into this really cool section, I believe it's the bass that plays it, where we go. Alright, now it's got a very delayed feel to it, more more like a triplet vibe. We're dealing with a D and a D sharp. Or as I like to call it, a D and an E flat. So that is a flat ninth interval, which without all those notes in between, the third, fifth, and seventh, it's kind of jarring. But highly effective for the song. So we're dealing with that flat nine which is a really cool chord. Then we're going into the... to that part. That is basically... the phrase is based in D. We're dealing with a D to a C sharp and a D to an F sharp and a G. Now the relationship between the D and the G is a fourth, which is a great interval to go to. And then you having that leading tone into that fourth degree. The C sharp to the D being a half step and then the F sharp to the G being a half step. So that part is kind of intervallically created, right? Because you want that fourth, but you're doing the, the half step, the leading tone into the fourth. So that makes perfect scientific sense as to why they did that. The next section, this is the pre-verse. This is where stuff starts to really groove and get heavy. We're going... <laughs> So the pre-verse, still foundation in D. We got D, C, D, F, F sharp, D. All right, now in the key of D major, we have an F sharp, and then in the parallel minor, D minor, we have an F natural. This riff utilizes both of those. So metal likes to make things kind of ambiguous and this is the perfect example of it. Rooted in D, but that's really all we know or care about. The bottom line is D is the foundation and all the other notes are color. Chromatic notes are a huge thing in metal also, which is why we're dealing with a minor third and a major third back to back in the same riff. It kind of breaks the rules, but that's what makes it great, right? And then of course the end of that is an F sharp to a G which would be the major third to the fourth in the key of D major. So we're kind of blending major and minor all at the same time here. And again, that's what makes it great. Yeah, so that's it. All right. That's all we're going to do.